This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at calculating the entropy change using the equation Q equals MC delta T. So in this video, we'll be using the equation Q equals MC delta T, where Q is heat in joules, M is mass in grams, and C is the specific heat capacity. In this diagram, we have the apparatus used to measure the enthalpy change for a combustion reaction. We have a spirit burner which contains a known mass of methanol. The heat released from the combustion of the methanol increases the temperature of the water in the test tube. The change in temperature of the water is measured using a thermometer. Here we have the data that we're going to use to calculate the enthalpy change. We have the initial mass of the burner and the methanol, the final mass of the burner and the methanol, the mass of water in the test tube, the initial temperature of the water, and the final temperature of the water. The first step is to calculate the mass of methanol used in the reaction. To do this, we subtract the final mass of the burner and the methanol from the initial mass of the burner and the methanol, which gives us 0.52 grams. Next, we'll convert from mass in grams to amount in moles. We'll use the equation amount in moles N equals mass in grams divided by the molar mass. So that's 0.52 grams divided by the molar mass of methanol, which is 32.05 grams per mole, which gives us 0.016 moles of methanol used in the reaction. Next, we'll calculate the heat released in the reaction using the equation Q equals MC delta T. So in this example, the M refers to the mass of water used in the reaction, which is 20.00 grams. C is the specific heat capacity of water, which is 4.18 joules per gram per degree C. And delta T is the temperature change of the water in the test tube. This gives us a value of Q of negative 3080 joules. Next, we divide this value by the amount in moles of methanol used in the reaction, which gives us negative 192,500 joules. Next, we divide this value by 1,000 to convert to kilojoules per mole. So our final answer is negative 1.93 times 10 to the 2 kilojoules per mole. The literature value for the enthalpy change of combustion of methanol is negative 726 kilojoules per mole. Here we have the equation for calculating the percentage error. So we have our experimental value minus the literature value, and we divide by the literature value, and we multiply by 100, which gives us a percentage error of negative 74%. The negative sign tells us that our experimental value is less than the literature value. And finally, we look at the systematic errors in our experiment. The possible systematic errors are heat loss to the surroundings, not all of the heat was transferred to the water, and the incomplete combustion of the methanol. All of these errors would result in our experimental value being much lower than the literature value.